Hey boys and girls, come gather around. We're gonna tell a bedtime story. Yeah. Ready? Get, get over here and listen to this story. This is the creation story. This is the story of how everything came into existence. You know, how everything came to be. Once I listen real close, all right? You see, a gazillion years ago, I mean, it probably was longer, but when we talking about eternity, you can't place time on it. See, it was God all along. But to those who don't believe, it was the uncaused cause. It was the self that didn't need, but with nobody there to see and nobody there to believe, it was like he really didn't exist. So what was his reason to be? So when the pain of his loneliness and want to be real, then God started to cry, and his son was his tear. You see, the tear fell from his eye, and he knew that it was it. He kissed loneliness goodbye, and now his life was so rich. And then God moved his lips to see if the tear could hear, then the tear started to move. Now that's the Holy Spirit. So the tear went on a mission to find its reason for existence. He went from point A to point B, and the line was inherited. He went from point B to point C, and the time was consistent. He went from point C back to point A, now time and space existed. He looked at his creation, and he knew it was a mystery, but the triangle shape that he just created was the Trinity, and it was a perfect place. So why ain't he just let it be? Because eternal progression is the earmark of divinity. So he kept on creating, trying to be just like his maker, he went from triangle to rhombus, from rhombus to tetrahedra. And when he finally looked around, he had a place to lay his head on. But he was all alone in this new place that he just made home. But tell me what good is time if you ain't got no one to wait on? That'll make a thousand years the same thing as a day long. Again, the father cried, but when the tear fell from his eyes, since it was a tear of joy, it was a girl to his surprise. And the son was so happy because he had somebody that he could just love for eternity. And one tear was joy and the other was pain. And together they created everything okay now that love's here and everybody's happy tell me how can a perfect place turn to something that's so awful now that's a good question <laughs> probably only god knows and i could just be guessing but whatever this joy this sorrow so after many many years one of the kids of the tears they just up and decided that all of this pain shouldn't be here that there should only be joy and his reasons wasn't clear i'm sure he was sincere it just made everybody scared why should everybody be afraid of only one joy because god gave us free will we have a right to want it all. So if God gave you a square, you have the right to want a ball? A square and a circle are the same. Just save the edges all. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the story, all right? It was three wise men and a star. It was a holy night, and God blessed the child who was born to turn wrong to right. To all those that believed in him, to them he gave eternal life. And his was a story of pain and a glory and love that he gave unconditionally. Unless he returns, then the world cannot learn that glory is glory of everything. Good night.